amazing yeah. to make it that long here on Earth. More than 110 years old? Rock. One, I mean, you know, I've heard multiple times 105, yeah. 106, but I don't think I've ever heard someone living to 121. Yeah, that's a long time. Something in the water. And they, hey, there must be. Yeah, I, there's a lot of Jesus going through that household. Yes. So, yes, yes, love to see it. All right, everybody. Well, a big happy birthday or a belated birthday to you. That is definitely something to celebrate. All right, everybody, we are going to talk about the weather, of course. Yesterday, you might be saying, hmm, that's strange. There's no high temperature yesterday. Well, that is correct. That is not, I mean, it is technically a data error, but the data point at Macon that gives us our temperature was running very warm yesterday. So the National Weather Service, when they realized it, they said, oh, well, we didn't get that warm, so we're just not going to put a temperature there for the day. So January 24th, 2022 will go down in history with no high temperature. We did start in the 20s, though. Now, something to note this morning. Macon, I think, is still doing it. So I brought my phone with me on the green screen. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. So we're going to take a picture. And I'm pretty sure this says 47 degrees on here. I know y'all probably can't read that, but it says 47. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. 47 degrees. Well, on our map here, it says 56. Now, do I trust Snapchat's temperature? <laughs> Maybe, but when Warner Robins is at 47, usually we are about in par with Warner Robins temperature. So there you go. If you want to check your temperature this morning in Macon, Maybe just pull out your Snapchat app instead of trusting this number because this seems to be running high again. 48 in Forsyth, 48 in Gordon, 46 in Butler, and 45 in Eastman. We will continue on with the weather. <laughs> My frustration with Macon's data point this morning is just a little too high. Right now, you're looking live on top of the fairgrounds in Perry where people are already heading out the door for work on this Tuesday. We made it past Monday, everyone. Always something to celebrate. And it's warmer out there. Some of you might be celebrating that as well. Yeah, we're in the mid to upper 40s, just like I showed you area-wide. That's the case. Definitely warmer than the low 30s and warmer than the low 20s we were in on Sunday morning. Now we are also adding some rain to the mix. We have some rain rolling mainly south of Macon along the 75 corridor in places like Houston County, Crisp and Dooley County, Taylor and Macon, Crawford, also Upson County and Dodge County. It looks like parts of Wilcox and Pulaski County getting some light rain. That's what we're dealing with for the most part, and that is what we will generally experience today as this low pressure center continues to roll along the Gulf Coast and our cold front pushes it to the south. But notice the way low pressure rotates counterclockwise like that, that's helping to pump in a lot of moisture, which is offering us that rain chance currently. But also with that moisture getting pulled in, we have a blanket of cloud cover this morning and that's keeping us warm. So we can thank that low pressure center not only for the rain, but also for the warmer temperatures this morning. It's helping giving us give us that cloud cover through the day today as this continues to move off to the east over the peninsula of Florida. We'll mainly look south of Macon for a rain chance. In the meantime, that cold front is starting to push in as well. That's going to keep the system south of town, but we will, of course, have that rain chance as this front moves in. It'll also be breezy. Expect wind anywhere between 5 to 10 with gusts maybe as high as 15 through the day behind that front. We're waking up back in the 30s, so hold on to the 40s while they last. We'll be in the mid 30s tomorrow morning back in the low 30s Thursday. Another front rolls in Friday. We could maybe get a stray shower out of that. And then we'll wake up in the low to mid 20s with highs only in the 40s through the weekend. Sunshine and mid 50s will be on the way to kick off next week.